How's it going everyone? Daxels here and today reacting to some of Quasca's art video reacting to why black holes could delete the universe, the information paradox. Let's get straight into it. Ah, it's not a good day if you're not getting uh, paranoid about space. <laughs> and away we go. Black holes are the most powerful things in the universe, strong True. enough to rip whole stars into atom-sized pieces. Well, this is scary enough, they have an even more powerful and dark property that they animation. might delete the universe itself. They're going to be the last thing standing, right? Let's go. Black holes in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. A black hole appears when an extraordinary amount of matter is concentrated in a tiny space. At yes, their yes. center, gravity is almost infinitely strong and whatever gets too close is ripped into its elementary particles. Oh, Not yes. even light can escape black holes, and so we perceive them as spheres of blackness. Mm. If you were to fall into a black hole, nothing bad would happen until well after you crossed its outer border, the event horizon. You can imagine this as swimming in a river that ends in an enormous waterfall. True. As you Sucks float you along, in. imperceptibly, the stream gets faster and faster, mm. even if you can't see the waterfall yet. You could swim to safety until, without even noticing it, you cross the point of no return. True. No you matter how down. fast you try to swim now, the stream will pull you towards certain death. Nothing oh, yes. can escape a black hole waterfall once it gets too close. This Ooh, water transition. completely like separates <laughs> black holes from the rest of the universe. We can't access them unless we're willing to never return. Oh. So there's no way of telling what's really going on inside black holes, but we have a few ideas about what's going on right at their very edges. Black holes radiate their mass away, like a hot pot on a stove losing its water as steam. This is called Hawking radiation. Black holes mm -hmm. constantly lose an extremely tiny amount Stephen of their Hawking. mass, a process that's unbelievably slow. It will take a black hole with the mass of our sun 10,000 billion 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 years to lose 0.0000001% of its mass. So this not long then. This is constantly and unstoppably. And <laughs> as it goes on, it speeds up more and more. In the far, far future, when the last star in the universe has been dead for trillions of years, black holes will become tinier and tinier until they evaporate and disappear, leaving behind just a bit of radiation. But this oh, is wow. a problem because in the process of disappearing, black holes might delete something fundamental, information. Hmm? Two, what is information? Information is nothing tangible. It's typically understood as a property of the arrangement of particles. What does this mean? Oh. Imagine a bunch of carbon atoms. Arrange them in a certain way and you get coal. Arrange them in a okay. different way and you get a diamond. The atoms are the same. What changes is the information. If we make this more complex and add in a few more atoms, we get a banana. Change the arrangement <laughs> of the atoms, and we get a squirrel. Oh, the basic whoa. building blocks of everything in the universe are the same and don't care if they're part of a bird or a rock or a cup of coffee. Without information, everything in the universe would be the same. According to the sure. theory of quantum mechanics, information is indestructible. It might change shape, but it can never be lost. For example, if you burn a piece of paper, you get ash. That ash will never become paper again. But if you were able to carefully collect every single carbon atom in the ash and measured the exact properties of the smoke no and radiating shot. from the fire, you could, in it. theory, reconstruct the paper. What? The information of the paper is still in the universe. It's not lost, it's just hard to read. If you could somehow measure every single atom and particle and wave of radiation in the universe, you, you could God. see <laughs> and track every bit of information there is. That's Hypothetically, nuts. you could see the entire history of the universe right back to the Big Bang. Damn. And here, black holes trip us up. Oh, information they, tells they us how things are different from each other and what uh, used to be what. Yeah. Black holes do the opposite. They take different things and make them the same. They destroy uh, information. This creates the information paradox. Goddamn and this space blender. Is a serious problem. Oh, the no. information paradox. It's fundamental for all our laws of physics that information can never be lost. Existing, not existing, 
Without information, everything is relative. When it comes to our understanding of reality, we need absolutes. Mm -hmm. How could we solve this paradox? There are a few possibilities. One, information is lost, irretrievably and forever. This means we have to nix all our laws of physics, throwing out a lot of stuff that's worked very well so far and start from scratch. Oh, wow. What those new laws of physics would look like, or what that means for us, nobody knows. This is a little frightening, but also kind of exciting. True. Two, information is hidden. Maybe a little part of the black hole splits off and forms a baby universe. The information would be transferred into this new, weird place where we could never observe or interact with it, but technically it would not be lost. It's like having a broken hard drive with all your family photos that you could Ooh. never access. Ooh. Sure, it's nice that they've not been deleted, but also not very helpful. Sure. Or maybe black holes don't disappear completely after the end of their life cycles, but a little piece is left. An information mm. diamond. Like a clown car Ooh. filled with an infinite amount of information clowns. Ooh. But there's a third option. Information is safe after all, not lost or hidden. Perhaps we've just been looking at this whole thing the wrong way. Yeah. We know that black holes trap information and might delete it later, but we never thought about what they do with it in the meantime. True. Where do black holes store their information? Cosmic housekeeping. Let's clean Let's up space. Let's <laughs> a black hole with dirty laundry. First, yep. we fill up a room with laundry baskets. The more laundry you want to store, the more baskets oh you put in the room. How much closer you are. But at some point, every single basket is full and the room mm. is completely stacked. Not a single extra sock fits in. The room oh, is at maximum capacity. Oh, yes. But if we still squeeze the sock in with a lot of energy and violence, the room collapses in on itself and forms a black hole. But ah. the capacity of the room itself has not changed. Fitting in more stuff or information is still impossible. So what happens if we throw more laundry into it? The room itself gets a little bit bigger, bigger to make yeah. space for the new information. Ah. It turns out a black hole grows its surface by a tiny pixel for each bit of information we throw into it. Okay. In a nutshell, more information means more surface area. Mm. The information gets painted on the surface, similar to what happens when we throw a stone into a pond. After the stone sinks to the bottom, ripples. we can't see it anymore, but we can tell that something went in from the ripples mm. on the surface of the pond. Even the smallest black hole can store more information on its surface than all the data ever produced in human history. Mm. They do this by storing information in a type of pixel that is unbelievably tiny. Black holes Damn. are the ultimate hard drive. Damn. This is a bit like taking a paperback cool. and turning it into an ebook. Two things that look completely different, but their content is the same. It's really? just encoded and memorized in another way. Black holes swallowing stars and planets is a bit like transferring a whole library onto an e-reader. This solution is called the holographic principle. But if it's correct, then everything we thought we knew about the universe is wrong. Oh no. It's a simulation. <laughs> the universe is a hologram. Oh my god, I was joking. Don't do this to me. If information is actually stored on the boundary of a black hole, <laughs> the Hawking radiation has a chance of learning about the information encoded there and can carry it away. So, information is not lost when black holes fade away and we do not need to redo physics. The okay. information paradox is resolved. But we still have to change our understanding of reality in a fundamental way. If everything that falls into the black hole is stored on its event horizon, that basically means that three-dimensional stuff is encoded on a flat surface. We have a name for this, a hologram. A hologram is like a 3D photo, a flat yeah. piece of plastic that encodes a three-dimensional image. A black hole is like a hologram because everything inside it is encoded on its event horizon. A person inside a black hole okay. will experience their usual three-dimensional life. But for us on the outside, they are flattened images on the surface of the black hole. Oh. The consequence of this is counterintuitive, but stay with us for a moment. Black holes are very extreme objects, but they're still bound to the same rules as everything else. So if this crazy duality between 2D and 3D works for black holes, then it might work for the whole universe and you in it. Wait. Since a person inside a black hole would not realize that they're encoded on a flat surface, we might share the same fate. Oh, you really no. might be stretched over a flat screen at the end of the universe. Oh my god. The science behind this is complicated and really weird, with yeah. two universes to play with, 
string theory, and a lot of maths. We'll talk about this more in another video. Jesus. Regardless of what the true nature of the universe really is, we just know that it's strange and complicated, and we have to do a lot more physics to understand it. But black holes might be key to understanding the nature of reality itself. This video was oh supported my. by the Swiss National Science Foundation and realized with the I'm scientific not sleeping advice tomorrow. of Alexander I mean today. <laughs> What the hell? Very good. Imagine if there's just a 4D being out there looking at us, not realizing that we're there. Jeez. Or already in a black hole, a big, big black hole, which is the universe. Oh, okay, I'm done. <laughs> Okay, well, that is the end of the video. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you check out the original in the description down below. Enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, comment which you'd like to react to next, subscribe if you're new or just haven't yet. I will see you in the next video. Waiters.